Hello and good morning. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, this pump. It is a uh, Rosa Master uh, fuel injection pump. It is a uh, DBGFC 437 7AF pump. And uh, the reason we're tearing this pump apart today is uh, it's hooked up to my uh, Alice Chalmers HD4 and uh, it's not pumping fuel to the hard lines which means that something's going on in the pump. So we're gonna get started here today. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is take the, uh, take the top off here. Perfect. And I'm gonna put all my little bits and pieces today in this big baking tin. In any case, that's the top off the pump. As you can see, Rosa Master is printed there. And this is the inside of the pump. <clears throat> so the way it works, from my understanding, this is the throttle linkage. And when you advance the throttle, it um, it's supposed to twist this bar here, which twists this metering valve, which basically gives more fuel to the engine. And this is determined based on a set of uh, fly weights, which are down here. And uh, this is the governor spring. And uh, the fuel shutoff is here. And so if this is in the correct position there, and I activate the fuel shutoff, there you can see it moved there away from this pin, which is literally just a vent pin. There's nothing in it otherwise. And, um, and as that happens, the uh, the engine shuts off because the metering valve is closed. Now to open the metering valve again, you simply move the throttle or you're supposed to be able to just move the throttle and it'll go back, but this one's jammed and that's what we're here to fix. That and possibly the plungers inside the pump. We have the Stanodyne seal kit. Here's the part number right here. If you need to do this, it is 24371. Anyway, so uh, we're going to go ahead and try and get this off. Now, from the best of my understanding, there is this little clip here, and this clip needs to come off. There we go. There's the U-shaped clip. It's out. For reference, it went in like that, you see. Now, apparently, I take off the, this linkage. But it just slides on through. There we go. That's the fuel shut off. That's what this looks like. And now I should be able to remove the throttle assembly. No sweat one way or the other, but you gotta gotta do your due diligence. Yes. Yes indeed. So uh, we've got oh, this uh, got this assembly that came out. Oh, this is the advanced mechanism. Put it up a little higher. There you go. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That's for you, Dakota. This is for everybody else below you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're now in my. You're now in my video, I suppose. Uh, so that's the throttle Sweet. connection linkage, and then the assembly itself should just magically come out here, and it did. I am recording from. Oh. Not recording from the crucial angle. I'm gonna have to put it back in and try again. Uh, so. Uh, uh, okay. Well, okay, well, well. How about this, John? Um, talk to your dad and uh, let me know. So the next thing that I have to do is take off uh, this. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, governor screw. Sure. Governor spring. Worm gear. It's a worm gear. It's not. Oh, it's a spring. It's a spring. Um, and, uh, so I have to take this pin out here, but to do that, I have to take, uh, this, uh, inlet out first. So, bit of tear down, you can go back on your stand. Can you see all right from your stand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a stretch, man. It, it is totally a stretch. So here we've got a, a screen. Yes, it is being me being nice. 
This is the inlet screen. I'll show those. Here it is. Here, you see Dakota? So uh, this is the pin here that holds the uh, governor screw or governor spring in place. And it just comes out through the back here. And oh, there's a nice washer that uh, apparently goes in there. And uh, this is the pin. There's the pin there. And for Dakota, there's the pin. And the spring, it comes out here. And there's this little piece on it that is supposed to pull the spring. Here it is. Uh, what we're doing now is uh, we've got the uh, spring out as well as uh, the little drive post. That was the spring and that was the post that went in through there. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do is uh, take this off this whole spring assembly, which uh, goes down to the governor flyweights. The only way to do that is to take these two nuts out, one here and one here. Then there's a little shaft assembly that goes in one way <clears throat> underneath. There we go. If I understand correctly, the way this works is there's this, uh, this pin here and I want to push it one way with my needle nose and then grab it with the needle nose and it should slide right out. I don't know where that O-ring went and hopefully I find it someday. And hopefully that means I can lift out this linkage. There we go. And it just comes up and out and it's this whole linkage all at once and it just came from down in there great so all that's left now is the metering valve and supposedly i can just pull that out you see how this is moving very slowly apparently this metering valve should be moving quickly or easily which it is not and I just off camera pulled it free with needle nose pliers and then it comes up out there's a bit of resistance on it and there is an o-ring that disappeared uh, when I pulled it out because it came out rather violently so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, I believe tear out the uh all the bits and pieces inside the pump let's just undo these they look like they need to be undone there we go that's two and they're all flatheads and i'm just loosening them off so the next thing is, is we'll just pull that out back end are they half inch they are oh man I need something bigger than that yes I think that got her nice Untwist these, but I'm sure they have to come out now. Nice. Maybe they're five eighths. Yes, indeed. Yes, come on. Nice. And I guess that means this one is 9 sixteenths. Nice. They're on there pretty snug. So mine seems to go together a little differently from what it shows online. And I want to twist this off, I think. Nice. And there we are. She's free. And let's see what happens when I take it out. Ooh. 
So it just comes out as one giant assembly. And this is what it looks like. And then there's these weights. Nice. There we are, that's the pump housing. So what we're left with is this uh, this core. Okay, so now we're uh, going to haul apart this uh, pump. We've taken uh, we've taken our snap ring pliers, and uh, we've taken the snap ring that was holding the weight retainer in. So now we're going to lift that up and off. And look at that! Our rubber seal is in great shape. So. Usually what they say a lot of the problems are is that this rubber seal disintegrates. Ours is in fantastic shape, so that's not the problem. Then we've got our cam ring here. Here are the, uh, these weights. There are the two brackets that hold those in place. that comes out so on my workbench I've got the pump and it's currently sitting in carb cleaner hopefully that will release some of the sticky plungers now I got to get to work cleaning up all these other parts